welcome back we have another exciting video for you so today we are in Negril we are actually on West End Road and we are at the beautiful Villa Sermere now Villa Sermere is basically across the street from Rick's Cafe it consists of cottages and also a seaside villa now the villa is across the street from where we are however right now we are going to give you a full tour of the cottages now on this side where the cottages are there is actually a cave that runs beneath the road and takes you out to the sea and we're gonna show you exactly what that looks like now so come with me We found out about this property by searching online. We were doing a weekend vacation and we didn't want to stay at one property. We wanted to pretty much hotel hop. And I came across this one and it was so unique to me with the pictures that I saw. I was really excited to try it. As soon as we came, they told us about this cave and I was like, hey, what cave? and i also remembered seeing pictures showing the sea and i was wondering like if this property is on the left side how do they have a beach front but then i realized that this cave which you're actually walking under the road now to go to the cave is what gives you access to the beach and also if you are staying at the seaside villa then you would definitely have access to the beach as you would be on the other side of the room. Now, this setup was from last night. We have a family. They have a family staying in the villa, and the villa is a six bedroom for 12 persons, and they had a special dinner here. So I pretty much love this location a lot. The manager mentioned to us that a lot of persons have their wedding receptions or even their weddings here. As you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful view. The sound of the water, the beautiful beach. It is just breathtaking. So come in here. Even if you are not staying on the seaside villa and you are staying across the street on the cottage, you have access to here as well. So you can come and hang out. They have the chairs here. And if you are a good enough swimmer, then you can take it and see. As you can see, you're not one of the guests taking a swim now i would have chance it because i'm not that great of a swimmer but if you are then you can so you can just take a look they they try to preserve the natural look of it the rustic natural look but they install some lights and so forth so if you want to come here in the night you can see that it is it just gives a beautiful beautiful vibe
I said before, they installed some lights, so it's quite visible at night. You want to come down and hang off the maintain the natural look of it and still install some artificial light that you can see um and i know you must be wondering a place like this it must cost a lot of money but actually it didn't because for fabian and i it was a hundred and about 120 dollars per night and you know we're in summer we're in the travel season so maybe at a low uh, season that's not the peak season it might be a little bit cheap Across the street. I know it's not crazy, but hey, any penny saves. <laughs> All right, so out here is the reception area. You have the front legs here. So as soon as you come, you'll be greeted by the manager, Miss Carmen. She's very lovely. And her receptionist, Miss Mack. There is also there is also a laundry area here. Anything that you need, you can get it. Um, no matter how big, no matter how small, you can just come here and they will assist you. Now, upon entering, you realize that you are stepping into paradise. So, this is the entrance to the cottage areas. Now, the when you arrive, there is a map inside the reception area which pretty much tells you exactly where your cottage is. So they number the cottages and you would know exactly where to locate yours. Now this one is a one bedroom cottage. It comes with a living, a living room and kitchen, a bedroom and a bathroom. And as you can see, it comes with a patio. All of them come with a bench at the front can see over there so you want to hang out at the front you have the choice of sitting on the chairs or you can sit on the bench very lush very lush very green i love the natural relaxing calming ambience that it has extremely lovely All right, so we're gonna zoom in on the cottage that you can take a closer look at it. So you can see some more finer details, the basic decor that they have. You can just take a look at how natural they have it. High ceilings inside, the touch roof beautiful trees all around it is just breathtaking all right so now this here we have some guests over here so i don't want to be loud this is a two bedroom cottage and i would assume that it has the same living and kitchen two bedrooms restroom as you can see they have an adequate size patio lush green area they good also morning. have a good morning they also have seating just like what i said with all of them very nice very lovely and you do have your privacy inside of your villa but inside of your cottage but you're still not too far from other person so it still gives way to a little socialization and so forth if you choose to Now this villa, this cottage over here is actually the one that we, the one that we are staying in. If you look on the channel, there is a full extensive tour of the inside that shows you all the facilities, all the amenities. You can take a look at that video. However, this one is pretty much identical to the one before. We get a queen bed on the inside, an adequate bathroom, we get 
living and dining living and kitchen with counter space for eating and we also get a stove and a fridge if it is that we want to cook our meals um, so far the cottages that we have passed have an AC unit so although the windows are mesh you can open them for natural ventilation but if you want additional cooling you can also have the air conditioning all right so now this cottage if i remember correctly i think this one is also a two bedroom it's quite large but i think it is a two bedroom just the same um we haven't been inside but i would assume that it is nice or even nicer than the one that we were staying in green areas are very well maintained at the front and i think all of the cottages have fire extinguishers which is very good as well and all of them are serviced so in case there god forbid there is any emergency then they are there ready to be used so if you can look again very natural very rustic relaxing they didn't overdo it with any extra decorations any extra paint any bright paint it just gives you a nice woodside riverside relaxed type of vibe we also have garbage disposal very close to us we don't have to walk far for that and now we're heading down i just really love the flowers they, they and I, they have a lot of flowers but they try to leave it green so a lot of green it just gives you this lovely lovely vibe no i think this should be another one bedroom cottage i think there is housekeeping being done now and i must say that housekeeping here is exceptional 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 i have no complaints in regards to that and when we came here the room the cottage was clean i have no complaints so green areas here palms they try to, their best to um clean up and blow away the leaves and but you know with trees and wind you know um leaves are going to fall so it doesn't bother me at all and of course they're abiding by the covid protocols they have signage throughout the property just reminding you to maintain social distancing and they also have a few reminding you to wear your mask so these lights on the ground they come on at night so um one of the other features of the property that i like as well is that the pool and the jacuzzi and the hot tub are open 24 hours. So if you want to take a walk around here, it is quite visible. So this is just the back section of the two bedroom. I think it is a two bedroom. Yes, I think so. Now this one, no, I think I remember Carmen telling us that this is a one bedroom however it has an outside bathroom it has a what she say like a first time jamaican type of setup I think, yeah i think it has a outside bathroom or something whenever you're ready to come guys you can call and get all the information that you need i'm not the best of a tour guide because all these cottages ha are unique in their own way and they have different different uh, um, amenities and facilities so please bear with me i'm trying my best to give you the information but wherever i fall short you can always call now i think this one is another two bedroom if i remember correctly yes i think this is another two bedroom very beautiful and if you want to come here with friends you want to come here with family you want to come here on a staff trip it just gives you that laid-back type of vibe and you get the best of both wor worlds here as well you want to chill you want to relax you can be here it's very quiet very 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 quiet you can even hear the traffic on the road 
or the vehicles on the road and if you want that excitement you can just head on over to Rick's Cafe so they get the best of both worlds here so as I said I think this one is a two bedroom again as you can see they are numbered there so once you come you'll know that you are at cottage 5 for example you will know exactly where to come because the cottages are pretty identical somewhat <laughs> especially for the ones that are similar in size more green areas again and as you can see we haven't seen many persons on the property so far but they are here but they're actually just relaxing and chilling this one has an AC unit again if this one isn't a two bedroom it's a three bedroom please forgive me but um, the properties the cottages over here are one two and three bedroom all right so this one over here is actually a combination property it is actually a there is a one bedroom on the ground floor and on the first floor there is a two bedroom yes i think i remember that correctly now so one bedroom at the bottom i'm sure it is as beautiful as the one that we were staying in adequate lighting outdoors green areas trust me normally you know that we would do any narration for our property tours we would just walk and show you what to expect what you would see but i think this property was more than deserving adequate size patio another fire extinguisher there very beautiful and if you watch the room tour videos i was emphasizing that lighting is definitely not an issue here all the properties have a lot of windows throughout and even on the doors have windows they have the fine mesh so if you even want to leave them open for the night you can do that we were assured that this property is safe and we actually really felt very safe and comfortable here So we're moving along now and we're heading down to the area where the pool and the hot tub is. And if I remember correctly as well, I think this is the three bedroom. I think <laughs> this is the three bedroom. So probably that one up there was a two. And then this one now is a three bedroom. So this one, if you're lucky enough to get this one, you are in close proximity to the hot tub to the pool and the best size patio I have here and the best size very lovely you can even sit and chill out here trust me this is a place that you can come you don't have to break the bank as I said for the one bedroom we paid $120 um, per night for two persons so the three bedroom here should be bad if you split the cost among you and your family or you and your friends now we're heading down to the jacuzzi to the hot tub and the pool area so we were told when we came here that there is a bar but the bar is out of use now still not a big deal because right here on west end like every turn you turn there is a restaurant there's a bar there's a bar right across the street there's a restaurant right across the street this Rick's Cafe is basically across the street as well so um, it's not a big deal for us we, we didn't mind and also we remember that you get a refrigerator inside of your room so you can even if you want to go the cheaper route you're going to Negril Town you go to the supermarket and you buy some beers you put them in your fridge and you're good to go so the bar is out of use now but it is here i'm not sure if they're gonna 
reopen soon. So we at the back there, there is also the final cottage up there that's a one bedroom. But I think it has a king size bed. That's the difference. And the entrance would be along this side. So what this one as well, if you're lucky enough to get this one, that would be so beautiful. It would be close to the pool, close to the hot tub, and you would have an everlasting, wonderful view. You know I'm a view girl, so yeah. We really wanted this one, but it was occupied for the days that we were coming to stay here. Now this is the pool. I am five feet three and I could make it so comfortably to about half the distance in the pool just for reference the water is very lovely very very lovely the, the waterfall down there if you manage to swim down and sit the water just beating on your body it is just so lovely the ambience here is nice perfect for photo this is just extremely relaxing I was so excited when I saw this pool trust me like this is one of the places that what you see on the pictures is actually what you get and if you look down on the ground as well there are lights embedded on the ground they come up they come on at night and also the ones on the fence hi friend good morning how are you wonderful how are you I'm good all right all right so we, there are lights here, so you're here in the night. As I said, the pool and the hot tub is open 24 hours, so you're out here. You have beautiful and sufficient lighting. Very beautiful. So the gentleman that just passed is our friend that is staying at the cottage out there. I envy him so much for having such a wonderful day. Just zooming in on the pool now there are a lot of leaves in the water from time to time the the individuals who work here they try their best to remove them but as you can see we have trees all around we have trees all around so you come here and see it is not a lack of maintenance i must say it's just that they have a lot of trees around and trust me the trees and the flowers and so forth make here make the experience here so much better so i don't mind that so we're gonna head on over to the hot tub now guys the hot tub was like the cellar for me upon going in here you literally want to call us this is not me you can still access the pool which is lovely I think because of COVID they limit I think to six persons only inside the hot tub at a time because of the size but that's still not bad so this is the pool and the hot tub extremely lovely so you can definitely Put this on your bucket list to come here you don't have to break the bank you don't have to break the bank you and your significant other you and your friends come it is not expensive if you watch the room tour you can see where i explain that they give you everything in your room to make you comfortable they give you a toaster they give you a kettle they give you a stove they give you a fridge they give you utensils plates cup so if it is that you're coming on a budget honestly the restaurants in the Negril area they are quite on the expensive side to me they are quite pricey so if you don't want to go that route you can buy stuff and you can cook you get a microwave as well so if you have leftovers you can reheat so trust me application is not impossible in this time you just need to know where Hot 
tub is not on you can always ask one of them to turn it on for you at times you might come especially when the pool is not occupied the waterfall might be off again you can just let them know that you want it to be on trust me there will be no issues no problems there very beautiful I really hope that you enjoyed this video I really hope that after watching this you're gonna go online and you're gonna book yourself a room for a night or two nights or ten nights here you will not regret it guys you will not regret it thank you so much and I really hope that you subscribe to our channel we are really trying our best to give you the best quality content that we can not normally a camera person I hate the camera but I'm trying my best to, to put that shyness aside that I can bring you just the best quality content that you guys can experience some of the places that I have experienced in Jamaica remember to leave a like remember to leave a comment if you have been to Villa Surmir before leave a comment let us know what your experience was let us know what areas close to here did you visit where do you want us to go next just leave a comment that we can have a conversation with you all because we appreciate that so much thank you so much for watching bye